All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. You went to one of the best medical schools and you graduated as a doctor and you come from a family of medical practitioners. And then here you were hobnobbing with a tailor, yes, someone that men's tan clothes. Is there something wrong with you, son? So, Dad, because I am a medical doctor, it means I should not speak with her because she's not. That's the point. That is the point, son. You should be moving around with people of your own pedigree. People like Tricia, you know. I, I don't even know the kind of uh, things you discuss. Uh, you discuss about her mending buttons, right? Or you discuss medicine. Mm -hmm. What sort of relationship do you have with that girl? Uh, Eros or platonic? Platonic father. We're just friends. Mm. But what I'm seeing doesn't look like a platonic relationship. Something different. We're just friends, father. Then keep it that way. I don't want to see people like that in this house. Understood? I told you. I told you he doesn't like me, but you didn't listen. Obviously, he invited me for dinner just to embarrass and humiliate me. And I'm pretty sure he remembered that I wasn't a medical doctor. But he made me answer those questions just to, just to remind me how suitable I am for his son. Uh, where do you really think you fit into this sort of prestigious medical family? So I... I uh, know. Now I tell you this. You can't be my son's wife. <laughs> the earlier you know it, the better. All right, so with this one, you know, pedigree, it's kind of like the norm, you know. African parents have always been known to kind of want to direct their kids to what they want them to be in life. Let's just start with back in the days. You know, they would always want you to be a professional. If it's not medicine, it's engineering, it's law, you know, something like that. And, and it's been normal that parents want their kids, uh, you know, to be in a profession that's, you know, that's going to be above average in terms of income and prestige. Now, this is a little different because in this case, this man is excited in actually the medical field. So, you know, he's bragging with the whole, you know, it's a family of medical doctors, medical this, medical that. And of course, because of that, he doesn't want his son to marry a lady that's, you know, of profession, if I may use the word. Now, I know people might say that the Western world is different. It's really not. Maybe it's different when you're talking about the middle class. You know, in the Western world, it's the same thing. When you meet these rich folks, like really rich folks, they also want better for their kids. You know, they want their kids to be with somebody that could bring value to the family. So it's normal that they would want to guide you on who they expect you to marry or who they don't want you to marry. You know, these things are a little normal. Now, with the younger generation, as you can see, Things are a little different. It's different in the sense that many people want to be who they want to be. It's very rare that you will actually see kids that are still getting to us what their parents want them to be. You know, a lot of these kids these days, you know, they already have their mind made up. Some people just want to be what they feel is popular more than what they would fetch them more money. So it's kind of like a trend, you know, but the truth about helping a parent, you know, wanting their kid to marry a certain kind of person it's always gonna be there because yeah they're looking out for you but the truth is that the right thing is for the parents to let these kids make their pick because you know besides the career besides the stability there's also the fact that there has to be love you know and some of these times these arranged marriages do not offer that because these are usually two people that don't know each other from Adam and they just come together and they are supposed to make it work. A lot of parents are going to argue that that's how they also got married, that they didn't know their wife before uh, they met. And, you know, look at them. They are celebrating their 40 years anniversary. So, and, you know, all that is true, you know, but the generation 
of these days is totally different from back then. And as much as we still want to say it's the same thing, it's not. It's not in the sense that there has been a lot of technological advances, the biggest of which is social media. You know, social media has given a lot more people insight into what's happening in the outside world, uh, the possibilities that are out there. And of course, you know, not that all the possibilities are good ones, but you know, there are possibilities nonetheless. It's kind of like reframed the younger generation's mind as to what's possible, both in terms of career and in terms of relationships. And although everything that glitters is not gold, you know, you still see people that are still pursuing the impossible uh, because they feel like it's out there. So why can't they get it? These are things that you kind of see with the relationships of these days. But the truth is that a parent should actually let their kids to some extent, you know, their choice when it comes to their life partner. Because they're most likely not going to be around when all the drama and all the trouble, a variety of issues that come with, you know, this, you know, marriages. So it's always best to give the kids a chance to pick somebody that they feel would be uh, compatible with them and you know of course guide them of course give them advice uh, you know kind of like reframe their mindset as to what they are looking for and the expectations out there and how to manage it so it's you know it's definitely okay for parents to do that but you know insisting on they marry this person or they marry that person uh, it's not really a good thing that's all I have for this one if you like content like this, subscribe, follow, like, share, so you'll continue getting contents like this. I'm CJ from Magnetic Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.